Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Find a curtain. Uh, the Cold War mod that we did play, uh, I think, well, two-ish months ago, where we played as the Soviet Union. Today, we're playing as the United States. So, what is our current starting position? Well, we currently have Harry S. Truman as president. We are considered uh, social democratic. We have a GDP of 0.85 trillion dollars. I mean, our economy seems like it's going pretty well. We have monthly downs right now, 15 billion per month. I don't know how long this will last, but we will uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that for sure. Research stats. What do we want to get right away? Well, because we are playing a Cold War mod, it's kind of important to remember that we don't care that much about military research. Because there's a good chance that we're not going to be going to war with any major power. Like, we're not going to go to war with Soviet. We're not going to go to war with China. We're not going to go to war with, the, like, the British. It's very unlikely to happen. Unless, of course, we force it to happen. But we'll, we'll, we'll see if we get there. Um, but it is 1949. We want to get 1950 tech. Can we begin... Foreign policy. Can we begin the... Yeah, unmanned orb. We need... I want to see if we can get our way into space. $100 billion, but we can worry about that in the future. We need hybrid propellant rockets, and we need high-pressure vessels. Well, I feel like we should be able to get both those things done without too much problem. Stainless steel. Just pressure. Okay, you're on 1955 tech, so you may maybe have a little bit longer than I would have liked. You know, we will go for... 1950 fine. That's only like half a year away. To get these two basic techs here. Computers, 1950. Unlocks more weapon types. Research speed. I mean, here's the thing. It's, it's a 1% bonus, which is not that great. An office park, though, is basically our um, industry will, will be more profitable. That, that's all we got to know. And I'll, I'll definitely take it. Um, industry tech. Have long, short income. Production efficiency. I mean, there's still and more food and more income. Yeah, I mean, might as well start early on trying to get our economy to be as strong as possible. I believe we are the number one economy on Earth uh, with a point eight five trillion. It's not like we don't have like a ledger, so I can't really check quickly between everybody. But I'm pretty sure we are number one. We have some other country on here, like Britain is at. I remember there was a way to check, and now I do not remember check. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they have 0.5 GDP. Soviet Union's at 0.44. France at 0.17. I mean, we're, we're by and far the richest country on Earth. No one, no one can really compare. I mean, the, the entire rest of the world was basically destroyed in World War II, so unsurprisingly, we got a pretty good advantage. We got a lot of military factors here. We will go five on convoys. And then we're basically just going to medium submarines, small submarines. I guess it should be medium submarines. And we're just going to crank out submarines. Because, again, submarines are just the best ship in Hearts of Iron 4. The more of them, the better. There we go. Fantastic. Just keeping out of them going on. We do, of course, have a hand. We have 250 nuclear weapons to begin with. Absolutely wonderful. We are the only nuclear power on Earth. Soviet Union will get there pretty soon. Britain and France might get nuclear weapons, but I'm not 100% too sure. Generally, we don't template for stuff, and eh, don't worry about it. We have 134 factories. So let's use you to build our office parks. It costs 35,000, which is incredibly expensive. Industry, civilian goods. And what else we got? You probably, yeah, you probably steal. Honestly, here's the thing. We have so many civilian economies. I feel like we're okay just pumping out. Yeah, it costs one steel. Yeah, no, let's just get office parks. We, we should have enough uh, natural resources within the country to offset any problems we really have. We still have factories. Okay, well, let's make more office parks then. Just office parks across the entire planet. Or by entire planet, I do mean the entire country. A national focus. We do have two that we get. We can be, but they do get the Truman administration, or we can go with the American Armed Forces. And I think we can also yeah, deal with the State Department. And I think we kind of want to start that right away, just so that we can try to intervene in the middle. No, 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 in Asia, and then the Chinese Civil War, and see if we can get there as quickly as possible. Fifteen days on you. Because we do want the Republic of China to end up winning their war. I mean, there's so many things here. I'm not, not even going to worry about it. Just build some infantry. We'll be good on that. 
We need eight division. I, I I did check this before, so I already know. We need eight divisions that we can send to to the ROC. We can also send them 800 for the aircraft, which will be uh, fantastic. So we want to do that as well. But what do we want? I'm assuming we probably want to send our armor divisions because they would. It just makes sense that I'm assuming they probably don't have as many tanks. Or by type, not by infantry. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is your armor division? Sign you under new army. Whoever has the highest attack value, Omar Bradley, congratulations. Also, that's not eight, that is six. Armored cavalry. I guess, well, whoever the hell you guys are, congratulations. You're all being sent to China. Then you guys send the air volunteers, congratulations. You already start the world at 23% world tension, which is quite a bit. We also want to be on speed five. Also, up our entire army. I don't know how many men we have in total. We got the American Administ or the Japanese administration. Those are gonna be a 45 division. I think there is no legitimate reason for us to even be here. We're gonna send our entire army over to West Germany. Not go to West. Wait, right, can I military access to? Faction, offer mills. You know, we have, yeah, we have military access. Fine. You know what? If you don't want to go there, might as well just stay on the west coast. By west coast, I do mean, <laughs> I do mean the east coast. Just come over here for right now. Except for the division we have in Berlin, you are just going to stay in Berlin. Find you. Split you actually in half. Find whoever the hell this dude is. They'll all be under one field marshal. Assign them under Eisenhower. Sounds great. And we have, yeah, 850 aircraft we can send over to China. You have a stupid amount of aircraft. Okay, well, let's fly you all to here. We have so many planes that it's actually <laughs> slugging out our game. Okay, this, this might be a bit much. I don't think we need this many. So let's send 420. You can all fly your way to... Wow, these air bases suck. Uh, well, fl fly your way over to Japan for right now. Because I believe Japan should be our puppet state. Yes, they are. Yeah, there are only... Major non, okay, a major non-NATO ally of the United States. Well, bring them over here. Decision available. Oh yeah, <laughs> stupid amount of decisions. Ignore the economy decisions for now. Ignore the investment decisions for now. RGO output. Twenty-five oil. Here's our thing. We can go to insufficient resources. We don't have enough electricity because we're exporting a lot of our electricity. So light metals. Let's trade that with France. Electricity. I mean, do we have any subjects? And I mean, screw it. Let's just trade you there. Nuclear material. Trade those South Africa. And rare earth materials. Trade that with the Portuguese. All that seems completely fine. Again, we have so much money. We should have enough factories that we don't really need to worry about it. I see. How's our oil production looking? Go to trade oil production. That eighty-five spare. Completely, completely okay. We ignore you. You're just oil. We could actually maybe use this. Keep you on. We'll keep these ones on for now. We don't need the oil. Do not need to buy weapons. Do not need to leave NATO. Wait, this is this is for the AI. We don't need to worry about that either. But we'll get our army and navy experience. Tax breaks, which is consumer goods. I honestly don't think we need any of these things right now. So we'll just safely ignore it. I guess you guys don't actually have a battle. No, you guys don't have a battle plan. I don't know, make your way down south. It doesn't really matter where you are. Yeah, you're for. You don't need to care about. Them. What is our penalty if we don't? Hear it. I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit of a hit for us. Let's 
Let's actually split you in half. I was going to send 210. Can't quite afford. We'll change you. Just be at 200. Now you will fly your way over to here. Air superiority. Apparently you actually can do everything. Excellent. You guys are interceptors. Okay, here's the thing. Does, do, does the PLA have any aircraft? No, so we don't need interceptors. Just need to send fighters, bombers, all that good stuff. Send you over here. Bombardment. We're already sending over there. Guess we can decrease you by. Yes. I will send you over to this air base. And superiority there. Defend the southern front, okay. My question is. How many more planes can I put in here? That's my question. Another about 300. Carrier support, airlift group, I'm going to say doesn't really matter. 2.2 thousand is very, very expensive. We can reduce you down, I guess, to 300. Send you over to here. And it's like, oh, we're missing. I guess we can actually. Keep. And that's nine. One more. There we go. And spare. Just do, just do everything you can. Get everything you can done. Done. When are you going to be here? You're going to be here on the 13th of about six days on you. Yeah, and then we're going to focus on Asia. Get more political power off of this. And I'm guessing we probably can't really change too many of these things. We are really an economy. Makes sense. I don't think I don't think we really need to change anything. I would probably not mind getting off of free trade. Just so we can have more resources for ourselves. I think we're maybe exporting a little bit too much. This doesn't need to change. Alright, minor warfare spending, small education, metro police. Yeah, so it seems like all of these are fine. Oh, Congress! Got the moderates, the progressives, the Dixiecrats, moderates, conservatives, the liberals. So we got. What do you see here? Actually, we see how much they want to vote for certain people. Okay, so we got 55 Democrats, 41 Republicans in the Senate, 263 Democrats in the uh, House, 172 in the House as well. But anyway, that doesn't matter. What I want to look at, I want to look at social policy. We're labor neutral, semi traditional, pluralist. We have some reactionary sex laws, press freedom, and we're discriminatory in our uh, outlook on minorities. And the death of justices. There's a new folks in the United States judiciary following the deaths of Justices Frank Murphy and Wiltley Rutledge, only months from each other. The two vacancies might be filled by the president and the political observers across the country are awaiting his nomination. Some believe the president may choose to serve the jurist to would help the government in cases targeting dangerous dissent of, or threats to liberals' national or threats to national security. I would suggest a smart way move would be appointing liberal justice to aid in future efforts to protect civil liberties and civil rights. Well, let's go for... Let's free the Hollywood 10. Released in 1984. Don't think that really matters too, too much. That should be tomorrow. There we go. Excellent. And we're going to drive you guys up towards... Guys, I mean, I'm assuming we need to capitulate you. Fresh the map, please. Yeah, we got some wars here. Girl Wars, Chinese Civil War. I mean, you're definitely outnumbered. There's no doubting that. We need to get you down to 20%. And I'm assuming you're all... Yeah, you're all owner. Which is not great. You need to actually help in the Greek Civil War? Probably not. You guys actually look like you're doing okay. Look at power. We're getting 1.69 per day. Is there any country that we're close to just puppeting right away? We're 66 with Cuba, 83 down here in Guatemala, 83, 75. I mean, we have a lot of influence down here in South America. Do any of you have good resources? Basic food, Colombia's got some decent stuff, Venezuela. 
57. It's a little expensive there. Nice. Nicaragua's got something. Something we could maybe use. How much protection do we have? 118? I mean, again, Brazil would be nice. It's a big country. Anyone else that we're close with? 28 with you. India, we don't have any influence. 25 in Pakistan. Nothing here, nothing there. 14% in Germany. I wouldn't mind getting Germany to be an outright puppet state of ours, but... I understand that might not happen, so I think we're going to influence Colombia first. It's going to be expensive on the old political power front, but that's okay. Moving in. Okay, what can we actually do in regards to this? Yeah, Chinese Civil War. You can call for UN action. Military intervention. Send advisors, recruit volunteers. Or oh, we can actually send an extra six volunteers off that. That'd actually be really nice. Or we can actually we can actually just outright join the fray and declare war on the, yes, the Liberation Army. Which you know what? I think I know I just said that we weren't gonna to go to war with anybody, and I think I my mind. There's national focus done. Next, gonna focus on the Chinese Civil War. Apparently that's done in a singular day. That's actually a really good defense. That is GDP. I don't care about the GDP right now. Hold on for a second. Experience, terrain. Okay, the terrain here sucks. What is it? Is it a mountain? Okay. Eat this for a second. I think we actually probably want to push our way towards Wuhan. So this is more favorable terrain. Did you can redeploy over here? Direct intervention. World attention increased by one. I mean, we're already directly intervening, so it works out well. What change you? Right now we're at 10%. Direct efficiency cap, stability goes up. Construction speed factory output. Yeah, you know what? Let's go pro let's go pro employer. It, it, there are nationwide strikes at the moment. A nationwide general strike. General strike is being observed across the country by workers infuriated over the new government policy which reduces the rights of workers. Opponents accuse the government of being brought out by employers and owners seeking to exploit the workers for further profits. The way to stop the protest is to revert to recent legislation or wait until the strikes have been scabbed. Yeah, well, we'll just wait for the scabs to come along. Completely okay with that. It's just a little bit of a... Um, Anti-worker legislation. They don't, they don't gotta be babies about it. We're ready for direct involvement. But I do think, at least for right now, it's gonna be a good time for us to end this first episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Now, do a thumbs down. You want to subscribe and goodbye.